let's talk about 11 winter must-haves. So the first thing on the list is winter boots. Heavy duty winter boots do not go for the fashionable boots. You know, the cheap boots from Fashion Nova for the winter, the ones with the heels. Yes, if you're going out, but no if you need to shovel your driveway or if you need to get your car out of the snow. It's not worth it. I've been there. I was the one to wear the moccasins and wear sneakers while shoveling and my feet were freezing. But like I always say, we live and we learn. And when I moved out, that's when I realized like, I don't want my feet to be cold. I want to do things right this time. And that's when I decided to purchase a heavy duty pair of winter boots. I've had them for like a little over two years and I love them. They were originally a hundred and something dollars. I got them for 50 bucks at Dick's Sporting Goods. I got them around the springtime. So if you are looking for some of the stuff on this list, go towards the spring and summer because you'll get a better deal. But just shoveling in those little dress up boots, they would get really wet. They would end up smelling like a wet dog. Trying to look cute while doing something that wasn't so cute. <laughs> but anyways, I'm glad I learned my lesson. If you guys haven't purchased a decent pair of winter boots, now is the time to start thinking about that because it's going to save you money in the long run and it's also going to keep your feet warm. Next up is heavy duty car mats for your car. All the vehicles that I owned, when it would snow or rain or it would be muddy out, I would have those regular car mats, those cloth ones, you know, the ones you get, you can get at the dollar store. And that's it, that's all I would have. And they would get really wet, they would get filled with salt and sand. I don't know why it took me so long to purchase heavy duty car mats because with those other ones, I would struggle trying to get the smell out, trying to, you know, fix up my car, make it look somewhat decent. And it, the smell would never go away. I, it was just, it was horrible. I was I always have to like repurchase those Dollar Tree mats. So I finally took the plunge when I purchased this Honda and I purchased um, WeatherTech car mats. The thing with WeatherTech car mats is when you go on the site, you're able to plug in what vehicle you have. So for an example, I have a 2010 Honda Cross Tour. So I would plug all that in, all the information that it needs to get tailored mats. So the mats I have in my car only fit the 2010 Honda Cross Tour. That's it. And when it's time to clean them, I just unclip it and spray them down with a hose. You can have them soak in in the tub to get some stains out. It's so simple and it was pricey, but it was so worth it. My car does not stink anymore and cleaning is a breeze. I didn't get the mats for the back seat um, because we don't have any kids and no one sits back there. So I just didn't feel the need to spend extra money. Um, who knows, maybe down the road I will, but as of right now, we didn't need that. But if you do have kids that are going in and out of your back seat, maybe think about getting these mats. It will save you time with cleaning and also probably save you money in the long run from the rain or the snow not ruining the floor of your vehicle. Next one is super simple, but yet a lot of people haven't purchased these <laughs> this winter or last winter. I was guilty of this and that is warm socks. So I always was the person to just get any kind of socks, thin socks, whatever, it didn't matter to me. Uh, as long as they weren't colorful, I, I'm not a fan of colorful socks, but when it came to the winter time and with like shoveling or just being out there in general, those thin socks weren't cutting it. So I did invest in some Thermal Crew socks. My feet are not cold anymore. I own four of them. They have lasted me a little over a year now and they're still going strong. I don't dry them. That's another thing. When you get certain winter gear, don't dry it. <laughs> It'll last longer. But if you guys haven't purchased thermal socks, doesn't have to be crew socks, could be any socks. As long as they're thermal and they're gonna keep you warm, it's one of the best things to invest in. Especially if you are doing some work outside, get yourself some thermal socks. Some waterproof gloves. The gloves that I have, I purchased from Target about two months ago and they were around 20 bucks. It's waterproof. I could touch my phone with it still. And also they are super warm. They're amazing. I have been using them since it's been snowing and I have been using them nonstop because back in the day, I would get my gloves from the dollar store. I know this is so embarrassing, but I was super cheap sometimes and winter stuff I just never wanted to waste my money on. So I'd get the Dollar Tree gloves. I would scrape my car off 
to go to work the next morning and I couldn't even scrape like the whole windshield. Half the windshield, my hands were already freezing. So I would go in my car, take the gloves off, try to warm my hands up, trying to feel my hands again. And then I would go back out, put those wet gloves back on and scrape the other side. It was a process every winter with me, but now I don't deal with that. The gloves I have work great. So if you haven't purchased a decent pair of winter gloves that are waterproof, so they're not getting soaked and you can shovel longer or scrape your car off longer, get some, it's so worth it. I'll have the ones that I purchased linked down below. They do run a little snug, the ones I have. I have a size medium, but they are pretty tight, but I like my gloves tight. So I'm able to move around better. I don't know, this is my preference. Another thing is a car scraper. Not the ones from the dollar store, not any cheap ones, a decent car scraper. I have one that is collapsible. You can press the button and it gets really, really long and then you can make it smaller to fit back in your trunk. It has a ice scraper on one side, a brush on the other, and like a foam thing. So if you have um, snow on your roof, the foam, you can just like, it makes it like push off. I don't know how to explain it, but it works really well. Um, you don't have to purchase the one I have. Honestly, I don't even know if I'll be able to find the link to it because I purchased it like two, three years ago. So what I'm trying to say is instead of the plastic scrapers, go for metal. Go for one that's collapsible that you can fit in your trunk and not move around as much and one that won't break if you're really going in on it, you know. Another thing that you should be keeping in the trunk of your car along with the scraper is a collapsible shovel. I used to do this all the time. Um, all the vehicles that I had before the Honda was front wheel drive, so I would get stuck nonstop. And I would be like, all right, there's gotta be a different solution. I finally figured that, having a collapsible shovel and just shoveling your way out so you can back up and get out. Or if you're in any kind of situation, helps out a lot. So it is a winter must have if you don't have full wheel all wheel drive. Now I don't have that shovel in my trunk anymore. I actually gave it to my mom. I have an all wheel drive vehicle now, so I don't really need that. But I must say that that shovel has saved me quite a few times with getting stuck and not have to bother other people to help me out of, you know, a certain situation. Next up is something that I did invest in, I wanna say last winter, I can't really remember, but it is a heavy duty winter coat. The coat that I have can outlast like negative 30 something degrees. It, again, it's one of those coats that is only for cold days because I find that if it's around 40 to 50 degrees and I'm wearing that coat, I am sweating. There's tons of different winter coats that you guys can go grab. Just when you're looking for a heavy duty winter coat, make sure that you're able to wash it for one because some coats need to be dry clean. Dry cleaning is such a waste of money, but just make sure that you're able to take the faux fur off and you're able to put it in the wash on your own without having someone else clean it. That's what I was looking into. Um, I, obviously, I made sure that the coat that I was getting was 100% vegan. Everyone's preference is different with that. Make sure that it can last the degrees or outlast the degrees in your area. So. I was looking for something that can handle 10 degrees, 20 degrees, on negative one, because that sometimes attempts at night here and sometimes during the day. Again, do your research. Don't just go into buying a winter, a heavy winter coat right away. It is a winter must have, but do your research because for instance, I purchased this coat because I was that person to only wear sweatshirts and a thin little jacket in negative 10 degrees. I'm so surprised I've never got like really, really sick. Another winter must have, this is really simple and random, but that is a bucket of sand and salt in your house, in your garage, you know, just on deck because you never know. When I used to live at the other place, I used to have my own bucket because the landlord didn't provide that. Try to put it on my side of the driveway so when I come in, I'm not slipping and sliding everywhere from the black ice. Super dangerous. I fell a couple times on it. So has V. You never know at nighttime, you can't see that ice and it hurts so bad when you fall. So if you haven't made a bucket of like sand and salt, maybe do so now. Here, we don't have to do that. The um, building management provides it in the lobby. So it's just a big bucket and we all can take a scoop and put it on our parking spots, which is pretty awesome with living in an apartment building. Um, I've been in apartments where it's like first floor, second and third. Here, it's like a giant building. so. 
it's pretty nice but if you don't have that in your area maybe you should you know start making your own and just prepare yourself like watch the news if they say that tonight's gonna be a really cold night um you know chance of slight snowstorm whatever put some salt and stuff on your area i mean a lot of people already know this but if you don't now you do next thing is warm blankets so you don't waste money on heat i learned this from my mother my whole entire life with growing up she was the kind of woman to be very frugal <laughs> on the heating bill and the light bill and um, when it came to the winter time she would always tell us to bundle up get a nice warm blanket so we don't have to put the heat cranking so she was right i have to say um i have learned that from her and i'm proud of it because we do have this blanket and we also have another blanket so we're not cranking this heat and then our bill is extremely high. So make sure you swap out your comforter, your summer comforter for um, like a winter one. Again, if you don't wanna buy an, a blanket, maybe start wearing sweaters or warmer pajamas to bed so you don't have to crank up the heat. Another thing that I recently invested in uh, this past summer was Winter tires, this is another must have. Winter or all season tires, again, if you live in areas like mine, <laughs> you kind of need this. Having winter tires makes all the difference. I purchase all season tires, so brand new. For the first time in my life, I've had brand new tires and it feels amazing to be able to get that. Like, I never in a million years thought I could afford brand new tires. I always went through the used route or getting tires from other people because I couldn't afford it back then. It's so worth investing in decent tires for your vehicle around the winter time because it helps you out when you're driving. It helps you not slip and slide everywhere. It's a huge help, trust me. I, I feel so much more comfortable knowing that my tires are brand new and they're all season because I'm not slipping and sliding like I used to. And the last thing on this list is a little cute thing I wanted to add and that is some hot chocolate for those cozy winter nights. You don't have to do just hot chocolate, you can do some tea. If you're watching a movie, it's, it's so relaxing in the winter time. I feel like it is a winter must have for like those, you know, Netflix and chill nights is some hot chocolate with some marshmallows and it's just really cozy. And sometimes we switch it up and sometimes we'll just have some tea. I have some decaf pumpkin spice tea in there from the fall. So just a nice hot beverage while watching a movie, get nice and cozy. And also hot drinks make you feel warmer. So you won't have to crank up the heat once again. So there you guys have it. Those are the 11 winter must-haves. I will have some links down below of certain things that I talked about. So if you're interested, you can go down there and check them out. I really hoped you enjoy this video and I will catch you in the next one.